Going back to school is a hectic time for everyone involved, from teachers building their lesson plans to parents making sure they get to the drop-off line on time, and of course for the students who are going back after six months away from the classroom. So we wanted to share something that may lessen the stress. Owner and instructor of Heirloom Creations, Sarah Snuggerud, is here today to show us how we can make an over-the-chair organizer that's perfect for keeping those school supplies in one place, at home, and in the classroom. Welcome. Thank you, Ashley. You know I love my sewing segment. Yes, and I remember when you came to us and got your sewing machine. I know. And then like, you took the classes. I this is, if you want to learn yes. to sew, take classes because it yes. really upped my game level. And you're going to help us do that also it, today. Exactly. So we're going to get started with this really quickly so we can get through it. But a lot of this came from your idea was this year is a year where kids can't have their supplies in the middle of the table. There's been a few teachers I've talked to, and they're saying that um, having something to organize the younger kids' mm -hmm. things. And as you can see, yeah. we have created just a very simple pattern, and it's got a little bit of a pocket to it. Because I had one teacher, she said she had one, but it's so flat. So I'm going to show you a quick little tip of how to actually oh, more allow more for more things to go in. Because one of the teachers said, they usually had things in the middle of the desk. Well, we know that that's not always going to be the case this right. year. Everybody's going to have to have their own People things. People are not going to be sharing right. their supplies. And then we're going to also show you how to make a quick little pocket at the bottom to help extend all the things that they okay. need to put. So and this is, a, yeah. yeah, this is easy because if you are right. wanting to take it home, with supplies? You could take it home. You could take go. it home and wash it if mm -hmm. the teacher requests. And if you're thinking you want to make some of these, definitely check with the schools before you do it. Some teachers are going to be okay with having some fabric and stuff. Right, them. right. And some teachers have them, but they're worn out. So they might need some new ones. I love and this. I'm going to show you, you can also add a little embellishment to them as well. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need to do is figure out how big the chair is. So this is one oh, yeah. that kind of in that middle section of a first grader um, stage. So. Um, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, this is the chair from their classrooms. And you so, got one. I did. I um, hijacked from one of my teacher friends. I'm going to just move this right now so I can see you. Sounds good. We are wanting to work with some fabric that's a little bit thicker. So if you have cotton fabric at home, that's going to probably be a little, um, it's not going to last very long. Those corners of the chairs are really going to start to okay. get beat up. So I went to Hobby Lobby and found a super simple um, twill fabric, denim fabric would also work. Now, I, a little key is that the fabric is the same on both sides because of the way we're going to have to fold it. You're going to see that opposite side once you do the the two pockets, the okay, one so over the chair and then the one that is that's a good tip um, for the supplies. So we do need to start off with 34 inches, and we're, on one end you're going to need to have 16 inches, and to go over the chair back 14 inches. Okay. But if that chair's a little bit bigger, you're going to need to expand that yeah, a, little a little bit. bit. So then we're going to cut off a little bit at the end. So I've just measured in an inch on each side and measured down 14 inches for that first. So cut so off, this, yeah, that, like, cut off this part here. That's what's going to make this actually work. And you're going to have the dimensions and some instructions yes, for us too. We will so put all that. If this is moving quickly, you can go back and you look. You bet. So here's where I've actually cut it off. We do need to kind of finish the edges here. So this is the part that goes over the top of the chair. So just go ahead and fold that down. Now you're going to notice that these edges don't match up. So you're going to kind of pull them over and then pin those in place. Now, if you don't like pins, I have some of these clips. clips. The little wonder clips are great. So you're just going to pull those over, clip it, and then go ahead and stitch on both sides. Is that what is making the pocket? Well, it is. The... It's kind of expanding down towards where the other okay. pocket is, okay. but this does fit the back of the chair. So if you are looking at needing a wider back chair, and you talked about like sometimes this might be where homeschoolers, mm -hmm. you might even do this if you're working at home in yeah, that part. I mean, we aren't set up to do school from home. So if we <laughs> do end up doing that, we need a little bit more organization. Why not? This would yeah. be super cute to do. So here's where I've already sewn the two sides. And yes, I leave myself a little notes to turn right side out here. So <laughs> we are going to turn this right side out. So then we are ready to do the next part of the pocket here. Okay, so that's so the part that's going over the chair. Top of the chair is done. Got it. All right. So we only have two more seams left. I mean, that's that this easy is here. Easy. So this is the part that's going to come back up and create that pocket. So if you need a deeper pocket, you might extend that first cut, the lengthwise oh. cut, a little bit further. So definitely make one and see how it fits a chair before you make 20. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a good idea. So remember that little pocket that's going to expand for the extra supplies? All you're going to do is you're going to take 
where it's at and tuck it in an inch here. Okay. So this little corner, when you sew across this, is going to create that pocket. Before you do the sewing, you got to bring this in. So as you bring it in, it creates that. that's that extra um, two inches extra that I gave you that's going to allow you to have that extra pocket I'm watching right this there. and thinking of all the bags I could make too with that yes. technique. Yes, okay. yes. So that is a super easy, and then you're just going to sew, sew those right up, up, and then you're ready to turn it out. Now I have something fun for you, okay. Ashley. I got my embroidery machine out, <laughs> <laughs> and I went ahead and uh, finished the sides, so that's where we're at right here. And what student wouldn't love to be welcome to class oh, with yes. a fun little friend? That so is really that fun. is our little monster. Okay, I'll get this chair back <laughs> up and we can show them. Yeah, and then as you put it over the top of it, that is ready to get filled Look up. Oh my that. gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> that is so yes. cute. So whether you have, I mean, if you have an embroidery machine, you definitely could have some fun with that. You could put like superstar or teacher's helper. Yeah. And maybe it rotates to the student that's the teacher's helper for the that's day. There's really so fun many fun things that you could add to that particular um, project. So while we're talking about this, I know you adapted this pattern based on a few suggestions that teachers yes. had given you. So what kinds of things did they really like and what kinds of things did they not like? So they really needed the extra pocket. The so that's pocket. very important that you kind of give it that. I know it feels weird when you're sewing at an angle, yeah. <laughs> but that's what gives it that opening at so the top. They had tight. some and they were just flat. So you could get like a folder in it, but they're going to have their library books maybe a pencil box to also put in there. So yes, so, they so need some extra room. Okay, I like that. Yes. And these do wear out. I think this is going to be great. Mm -hmm. If you're a sewer too, check yes. with the teacher first, especially this yep. year during the pandemic. But this could be a great teacher gift to do the whole classroom. That would be fun. Well, yes. thank you for coming in and showing. I'm going to make some just for my house for my kids. Why not? They are, <laughs> they are that easy. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.